One of the favorites of the Bills Mafia has played his last game at New Era Field. Lorenzo Alexander announced after the playoff loss earlier this month that he is retiring after a decade and a half in the league. But that does not mean that he is done here in Western New York at all. To on your sides, Claudine Ewing recently sat down with Zoe to talk about his time with the Bills and what comes next. He was number 57 on the field, linebacker Lorenzo Alexander. The end of an era. <laughs> yeah, I mean, 15 years, um, something that surpassed any dream that I had. I had always had a goal of 10. And he tackled adversity coming out of Cal. Being slapped by reality of being going undrafted. Um, I've been cut a couple of times. Um, and I think that's probably the hardest thing to adjust um, to the NFL that is now a business and um, even though you're talented, now you're in a, a, uh, a world where everybody's talented. And so for me, that was really the first time somebody told me I wasn't good enough to be on the field or earn a spot. And that hits your ego in a certain way, and you really can go two ways with that. But I think what the foundation that my uncle set for me is not really ever allowing um, being told no to be an option. He came to Buffalo in 2015. It's until you've been to Buffalo, you really can't appreciate the city. Uh, by far, this is my favorite place, and if you ask, um, any of my kids, they've really loved it here. Especially his daughter Zoe, who surprised him and sang the national anthem. But how was it um, singing the national anthem? How was that? It was very, very scary. Was it? Yeah. It didn't seem like it. It was very scary. A little dad-daughter time in the kitchen, and of course, she brought up football that last game. You should have won that game. Oh, wow. <laughs> she's probably the biggest proponent of trying to get me to play another year. Um, so she's really uh, taken to this this culture, her friends. There are no words to describe how he appreciates Bill's Mafia. I think about Del Reed and 26 shirts and what he's been able to create by donating money. Raising thousands for Lorenzo's ACES Foundation. I think we um, take pride in, in the same principles, you know, family, uh, serving and really just loving one another. ACES fills the gap for kids with the ability to play a sport, but they don't have the resources or support to make the dream happen. And so whether that's providing backpacks, uh, providing mentoring, SAT prep, um, or just having somebody come in and speak to a young man that comes from the same area, just to give him a little bit of wisdom about what it means to be a real a man. Accountability, community, education, and sports. That's ACES. I use those four pillars to help uh, young kids get out of the hood, um, get out of their low income situations, um, and then become successful, go to college, and then come back and give back um, and trying to create that positive cycle that we are lacking in our community. Alexander grew up in Oakland. Uh, you know, I had a great childhood. Single parent household, my mom raised me with the help of my uncle Steve. I could have easily been up like several of my family members or cousins, you know, dealing drugs in a gang or finding my way to prison. Um, but because I had somebody like my uncle really showed me a great example of what a man looked like and really pushed me in the right direction. Guidance and structure saved him. Growing up, he played baseball, basketball, but football proved to be his way to success. He went to UC Berkeley, although he'll tell you his mission is to serve. And I take um, a particular interest in, in other young men. Um, because I, I feel that if we have um, better leadership in that in that area, we make our communities better, um, our families better, our lives better, our world better. In retirement, you will see him making a difference. You know, working with young men coming out of college or even guys that have been around the league for a little bit trying to figure things out. Um, I understand that the reason why I'm in that position is because somebody did that for me. And so I'm not now just trying to pay it forward. Balance. I'm not perfect. I used to live a life that like, man, I wouldn't want my daughter marrying him. And so I've had a maturation process. And so all I'm trying to do is trying to get them to where I am at quicker by just giving them some advice based on where I was at and, and having been on both sides already, knowing where your real legacy is at, you know, with your family, with your kids. He's not talking the talk, but living what he says. The locker room will break you down the fast. They can tell you if you're being genuine or you this fake dude, rah, rah, walking around talking it but not living it. And that playoff game in Houston, his last. I leave the game with no regrets because I left it out there every single time. He's now living in Arizona with the goal of broadcasting and not far removed from Buffalo. Still being engaged with the team here, uh, help mentoring some of the young men that I built relationships with and continue to help them on their path of maturing and, and um, developing their, their life off the field. 
a son, a dad, a husband. Everybody can't be married to somebody that's in this lifestyle. And um, I think our faith has played a huge part in why we've been able to sustain. And I have no regrets. And I'm, that's the reason why I'm at peace, because I'm choosing my family um, and not, not choosing football.